When I was a little boy, I was happily unaware of what life had in store for me. Isn't it like that for all of us? We know there will be good times, but how do we deal with difficulties? Not long after I was diagnosed with Parkinson's, I had the chance to sit down with Tom Isaacs and listen to his advice. I, I was someone growing up who didn't have much passion about anything much. When I got Parkinson's, suddenly that all changed. And when I first went and read about Parkinson's, I was, I was on the fourth floor and I considered leaping out of the window. But I couldn't get out of the window because it was, it was one that didn't open quite far enough. So I, um, so I, <laughs> I was in desperate strait for the first three years of Parkinson's. I, I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't admit it to myself. And then you get, you get to a stage where you do admit it and you, you accept it as part of who you are. I think Parkinson's is, is a journey and I think once you've been on that journey for a certain length of time, however long that may be, for me it was about three or four years before I suddenly realised that it's not so much about physical condition. My physical condition is not good. It's about attitude. And I think once you, once you establish that you you are going to fight this condition, then you can look to the bigger picture and it's then that you realise that actually you know, by being someone with Parkinson's, with experience and with insight, you can do some good. Tom and his friends encouraged me to get on board and play a part in the Parkinson community, while at the same time taking responsibility for my own health. There's a culture in medicine that you listen to your your practitioner and that they are the boss but actually you are the boss and you put together the people the network of people who you want around you to, to make you to get the most out of you <laughs> as I've learned more about the condition I'm, I've realized I mean, yes I mean most people would say it's optimism I have a belief you know I don't think it is optimism I believe that, that my condition eventually will be reversed I absolutely believe that I've seen people getting better with Parkinson's, so the science is out there to cure this thing. You, you've got to live for today. You're going to, you, shouldn't look at, I mean, you shouldn't look at me and think, oh God, when am I going to be like that? Because you'll never be like that. You've got to fight this thing. And you can't let other people's opinions sway your belief or change the direction of your life. It's still yours to control. And Parkinson's ain't going to, ain't going to control it for you. <laughs>